What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dream Catchers Fishing YouTube channel. Got another great episode today talking about a crazy fish catch. This is from four or five years ago. Good backstory right here. Guy named Stan Sypek had been watching a lot of our YouTube videos, big glide bait fishing in herring lakes like Jocassee, Kiwi, Hartwell, Burton, Western North Carolina, uh, North Georgia, upstate South Carolina and he had qualified for the Bassmaster Classic. He won the Open on Lake Oneida. Like I said, it's like five years ago. Well, I get a call to the shop that says, hey, I'm Stan Sypek. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a professional angler. I qualified for the Bassmaster Classic, and I was wondering if you could teach me how to glide bait. And uh, I was like, yeah, man, I'll, I'll show you how to glide bait. He said, I've got the Bassmaster Classic coming up on Lake Hartwell. Uh, this ended up being the one that Jordan Lee won. But he said, man, I want you to teach me how to glide bait on herring lakes. I said, absolutely. So we went down to Lake Murray and we had a, just an epic trip. We were down there for three days. I was showing him the ropes and he got really dialed into that GANcraft. He really liked the GANcraft. We were throwing the Depths 250. Uh, we were throwing uh, some S waiver, some other stuff, but he liked that GANcraft and liked the sink rate on the GANcraft and to come with premium hooks and everything. And, uh, you know, just the color schemes of the GAN craft, there's a lot of chrome and like that one there, that, that bait right there just literally looks like a big blueback herring to me. And you might say like, oh, it has a green back. Blueback herring don't really have blue They have kind of like a olive green, uh, almost purple when the sun hits them. They have blue backs when you take them out of the water. But anyways, that was the bait. And uh, we had fished and we had caught some really big fish. We caught a bunch of four and five pounders on Lake Murray. And Stan is from Pennsylvania originally. So his big bass was only like six and a half, seven pounds to this point. And it was pre-spawn. I said, man, these fish should be kind of loading up, starting to pull up under some docks. And we got to the back of a cove and I actually took a break. We had been fishing for three straight days, standing up, chugging big baits. I sat down. I had just caught a big one, I think maybe like a six pounder. And uh, I was sitting down feeling good. And then check out this footage. Biggest bass ever. <laughs> 987. Oh my god. Put him in and take pictures with him. We get another one. Wow. Wasn't that crazy? That fish was 9.87. I'm calling it a 10 pounder. It was an absolute giant. Once again, another giant, giant bass caught on a Gan Craft magnum 230 in a herring lake you know we're big believers in the gan craft you've seen tons of footage from ryan evers who caught that 12 and a half uh some other just monster fish on our channel caught on a gan craft magnum 230 we got them here at dream catchers fish and supply you can call us at 828-354-0250 it is a big bass catcher i promise you uh that for sure but you know, super cool story. We take a guy, he's a professional tournament guy. He's like, hey man, I kind of have this hunch about, uh, you know, throwing a big glide bait. Not a lot of guys are doing it. I said, absolutely. And uh, sure enough, he ended up, so on day one, I think after day one, Stan was sitting in sixth place. He had big fish on day one. It was like a six pounder. I'm sorry, he was in 12th place at the Classic. He had a six pounder, it was big fish on day one. Ended up, ended up getting beat on day two. Mark Daniels Jr. ended up having like a seven and a half. He called on a frog. But Jordan Lee ended up winning the classic. And, uh, you know, I even told Stan, I'm like, hey, you know, you get a lot of followers with these bites, but when you get a, one to commit to it, they're usually big. But uh, Stan tried to make it happen with the big bait in the Bassmaster Classic. It was cool having a little bit, playing a little bit of a part in that and really showing him the ropes. And, you know, Stan's still up there in, uh, in Pennsylvania, and he's absolutely smashing fish on Oneida, a lot of places up in the Northeast using, you guessed it, big glide baits, the Gancraft. So 
Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Call us for big swim bait stuff. Call us if you want a guide trip. Uh, like I said, you know, I took him to Lake Murray for three days, really showed him the ropes on glide bait and herring lakes, how we approach lakes, what we're looking for. He put a right at 10 pounder in the boat, but uh, we absolutely love it. We love glide bait, love the big bait game, love catching big fish. Here's that footage one more time. Appreciate you guys. I'm out. Biggest bass ever. <laughs> 987. Oh my god. Put him in and take pictures with him. We get another one. <laughs>